Run It Back, am I right? Giants in Minnesota again, playoff sequel, rematch of what is at least a Game of the Year nominee. From 61. And he has done it again! And the Vikings do it again! And a new Christmas hero in Minneapolis, Greg Joseph. That masterpiece just happened too, as in just a few weeks ago, week 16. And being one of these teams played the Washington Generals last week, and one of these teams was the Washington Generals last week, it means they both only played one real actual game since facing each other. That makes that matchup the logical starting point. Yeah! Vikings pulled out a dramatic late 27-24 win. Kirk Cousins drove them in the waning moments to set the field goal up. He had a great game, 299 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. One of his league-leading fourth-quarter comebacks, too. Play action, back to pass, to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Vikings! JJ, good times, 12 catches, 133 yards, danced in the paint versus Big Blue. He led the NFL in yards in 2022. Receptions, too. Looking deep over the middle, and it is, guess who? Justin Jefferson, the clutch play of the day. TJ Hawkinson, 100 plus yards, two touchdowns versus the Giants. He's second in the Vikings pass catching food chain. Cousins locks it to the end zone. TJ Hawkinson, yes! Touchdown, Vikings! Dalvin Cook in the run game, not used very much that week, but they were efficient versus the Blue. Efficient, that was Cook's 2022, too. Ended with over 1,100 yards, 4.4 a run. And off Dalvin, room to the left side. Gallops to the first down. Shakes the tackle with the 40. Angles inside the numbers, 45. And Dalvin with some steam. All the stars on each team's O ate that game. That's why it was so fun to watch. Saquon Barkley, a touchdown, 84 yards. Nice rebound season, 4.5 a pop for Saquon, over 1,300 rushing yards. They're going to want it. And in the biggest moments, Saquon Barkley said he wanted the ball. Touchdown, Giants! Danny Boy gave him a nice one-two ground punch against the Vikes, gave him that all year too, over 700 rushing yards for Jones. He actually dropped a few dimes on the purple too, over 330 yards passing, led them back late, Jones hearing it from the fans now. You're my boy, Blue! And what a throw by Daniel Jones. Picture perfect. Richie James, Isaiah Hodgins, Darius Slayton, Barkley, all involved in the rare New York passing barrage. Probably the most complete their offense looked all year, and it came at the hands of the Vikings. Jones has the first down. It is his top target, Darius Slayton, for a big gainer. From that marker on the schedule, these two teams went opposite directions. The Vikings went to Green Bay and got embarrassed. The offense completely fell apart. Cousins won touchdown against three INTs. Jefferson, the worst times he's ever had. He was held to 15 yards, got grittied on. Sideline and incomplete. Alexander who broke it up. Oh, he's got a little gritty right next to Jefferson. The Giants, they big shawned it. After taking the L, bounced back. That's how you know you're a real one, I believe dismantled the Colts, that still counts sort of, and within it, DJ had another good dual threat performance. Two touchdowns through the air, two along the ground along with over 90 yards rushing. Took last week off, so he comes in rested and hot. Jones rolls to his left, gets a block from Thomas, he's to the five, Jones races in, touchdown Giants! Cousins, he used the Bears as mouthwash last week. 17 for 20, 225 yards, a rating over 130. It was a little Billy Madison basketball Ish. What, you want some of this? But when he walks out this week, he won't have that taste in his mouth at least. Some of you know. Cousins throws nice. wide open, KJ Osborne. Nice. If the Green Bay showing was a partial aberration, Minnesota will expect their offense to look like it did versus New York and not the pack. So what do the Giants have to correct if that's the case? Obviously, the secondary has to play better. Specifically, cornerback Fabian Moreau has to lose the Waldo hat. In that game, seven receptions allowed, 84 yards and a touchdown. That pencils out to a 142.6 rating against. Jefferson gets separation, 
corrals it, gets away from Morrow, and takes it to the 40-yard line. He had the worst individual showing of the unit. The team collectively didn't play Jefferson well. They could get cornerback Adoree Jackson back this week. It's been a while, though, so it's hard to say what kind of impact he might make. Don't mean to ignore K.J. Osborne and Adam Thielen. All of New York's corners will be tested every snap and their issues with Hawkinson could be issues again. Tight end has been a year-long issue for the G-Men, finished bottom five in rating allowed to the position. Throws, lofting end zone, it is caught for the touchdown! Dalton Schultz! What about the Vikings? What do they need to do if they want to avoid needing a miracle field goal to win this time around? Their secondary needs to show improvement as well. Their Waldo in the first meeting, slot corner Chandon Sullivan, he needs to show better. He gave up a 118.8 rating, six targets, five catches allowed, 78 yards. And again, connects downfield. Patrick Peterson gave up a touchdown that game too, along with six catches and 67 yards, but he also picked off Jones, and he's held quarterbacks to a 65 rating this season. Maybe DJ doesn't go back to the well again. Picked off. Patrick Peterson was waiting for his moment against Hodgins. This time he got the best of him and the best of Jones. Vikings rush defense has room for improvement as well. They played running backs well this year, only surrendering four run to them, so they fared worse than normal versus Barkley. But the success Jones found along the ground against them was par for the course. Mobile quarterbacks have given them trouble. They've faced a lot of them, too, and all of them have had some sort of success against them. So he's going to do what he does, runs again, lowers the shoulder again. Both pass rushes made it home plenty against each other, appear primed to repeat it, too. The Giants got to Cousins four times, hit him a fat 11. Remember, they are a blitz-happy team, over 40% of pass attempts, so the heat will be there. Kayvon Thibodeau, Dexter Lawrence, Aziz Ojulari will be after Cousins again. Cousins nearly lost it. Ojulari nearly brought him down once, and then on the second attempt, Aziz Ojulari comes up with the sack. Do they send the heat at Cousins as often as they did the last time? Cousins faced the Giants' ballroom blitz 21 times, beat it twice for touchdowns, a 122.1 rating, and he's had good season numbers against the blitz, so it wasn't a fluke. Cousins, good protection, good blitz pickup that time from Cook, and that allows C.J. Ham to wrestle his way to the 29. Vikings aren't heavy blitzers themselves. They got to Jones three times despite that, hit him 11 times as well. Daniil Hunter buried him twice. He ended 2022 with 10 and a half bags. They still get to Jones who lost the ball. Daniil Hunter got into the backfield to knock it free from Jones. Zadarius Smith will be hunting too. He was a 10 sack man this year. Vikings should expect to track down Jones. He knows the Pineapple Express well. He likes Seth Rogen. Checked out all sorts of grass strains this year. The Giants gave up 48 sacks. Jones looking the other way. And Jones is going to get sacked. If it's close again, we saw how Greg Joseph handled his biz versus New York. He's 26 of 33 overall, but six of those misses are from 50 out and his long 61. Giants, Graham Gano only missed three times as well. And if you haven't said Graham Gayes to one of his kicks, you're lying. To make it a one point game and Graham Gano continues to deliver from distance. I leave you to finish the preview off, add missing topics to the comments section, sign it with a score prediction. Here's ours.